What is Beetlejuice? Well, we know Beetlejuice is a rascally bio-exorcist that likes to cause trouble. But what are the world's biggest, juiciest beetles? My name is Lisa Gonzalez, and I'm the program manager of Living Collections and Invertebrates. Today, we're gonna to meet three of the largest beetles that are found in the world. And we're gonna start off with this guy, Dynastes Hercules, also known as the Hercules beetle. When they're an adult, they like to eat really, really overripe fruit, like a mushy banana or something sugary, like sap that would come out of a tree. So whenever we give them banana here, we make sure the bananas are really overripe. What do you think, buddy? Do you want a little bit of beetle breakfast? Oh boy, I think he's interested. I can see his little antennae moving around. He's actually using his antennae to smell, so he knows that he's got something delicious right in front of him. We can actually see that the horn at the bottom is the one that can move up and down because that's the horn that's actually attached to his head. Dynastes Hercules, which is the longest beetle in the world, they get to be up to seven inches long if you measure the tip of the abdomen, the back part of the body, all the way to the tip of the horn. This guy, his name is Chestnut, by the way, he's about six and a half inches long, so he's a pretty good sized beetle. The reason why Chestnut has this long horn is he uses that to impress females. If he comes across another male Hercules beetle, they'll get into an epic battle to try to impress the ladies. So the females actually don't have that same long horn that the males do. And if a lady's impressed, well, they'll make more Hercules beetle babies. Beetle babies are called grubs or larvae. That's another name for it. They go through metamorphosis just like butterflies do. Take a look at this whopper of a beetle grub. Hercules beetles being one of the largest beetles in the world, naturally have a really, really big larva. So they spend about two years underground and they're feeding on organic matter under the soil. So things like rotting wood, rotting leaves, they're basically what we call detritivores. They're helping to break down anything in the soil. Today, I brought out a Goliath beetle, which is one of the world's biggest beetles and the record holder for being the heaviest beetle in the world. This one is Goliathus goliathus. These beautiful goliath beetles come from tropical and subtropical Africa, and the males are the ones that have horns on their body, which they use to compete with other males to try to woo a female. This male goliath beetle is about a year old, which makes them a grandpa because a year is about the maximum lifespan for them when they reach the adult stage. But let's take a look at the larva, or the grub is another name for it. This little guy is only about six months old. When he's fully grown, he can weigh almost a quarter pound, which is the heaviest larva of any insect known. And something that's really interesting about them is that when they're underground, instead of just feeding on things like rotting wood, they actually need a high protein diet. And one thing that we know is that you put two of these together, one of them might eat the other one. So this is the Atlas beetle, Calcosoma atlas. And we're looking at the male beetle, and we know it's a male because of the three big horns that he has on his head. The females are much, much smaller. I actually have a sweet little female right here in my hand. So you can see the difference in size between the two. They almost look like they're an entirely different beetle species. So the females like to check out the males and watch them get into big battles with their horns. And if the male beetle wins the fight, hopefully he'll get the girl. So we just got to meet three of the world's largest beetles. The longest beetle, the Hercules beetle, the heaviest beetle, the Goliath beetle, and then this impressive buddy right here, Calcosoma atlas, the atlas beetle. I really hope you enjoyed meeting these three beetles today. I wanna to thank you for being curious and kind to all the insects of the world. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.